Hello viewers, today I'm going to show you the difference between an old and new flywheel, dual mass flywheel of this E39 BMW. Uh, we will already remove it. This is how it looks from behind the engine, the flywheel is removed. Uh, and now I'm going to show you the difference uh, between them. Okay, so this is the new flywheel. It has uh, one, 130 teeth on it. So we need to figure out how much degrees is every teeth. So we're going to... Oh, I already do it. 360 degrees divided by 100, uh, 113 uh, 13 teeth 3 point uh, 18 degrees of each teeth so uh, one teeth it's from teeth to teeth it's 3 degrees, around 3 degrees. Uh, so I'm going to show you how much is the free move of the flywheel before the springs inside of it engaged. So every flywheel, dual mass flywheel has a free movement like you can see. So I already do the marks. This is from uh, one of the dead spots before engaging the springs. This is the the other end of the, the springs. So this is the free play of a new flywheel. This is especially Zax. Uh, it's very really expensive. Uh, have little difference, differences from the original one, but it's going to do the same job. So like you can see, the movement is around one teeth and a half and a half so we're going to uh, just a second somebody calling me so come on this is going to be multiplied by 1.5 so we have movement of 4.77 degrees of a new firewheel. This is the free move before the spring engage. Okay, this is uh, old firewheel. It has around 230 and 30 uh, kilometers on it. Not sure how much miles is this. Again, it has uh, 113 teeth on it. Again, every teeth is uh, around 3 degrees. Uh, and I'm going to show you how much free movement it has before uh, springs engaged again. Uh, I already made the marks. And like you can see, it has mildly more. You can see the, the mark is going little further to the second teeth, but still it's on the one teeth and a half and maybe a little more. So this old coach, old flywheel, only it has a really little wear on it. It's OEM, the original one. So uh, around after the, the second teeth, maybe the third teeth even, if you have, uh, have free movement of three teeth, I think it's time to change the flywheel. Uh, it's because the inertia you, you're getting to uh, hitting the springs is going to be a bit large and it's, it's, you're probably going to break them for a short period of time. So just want to show you uh, how, how to make a difference between uh, your firewheel should uh, most most of the guys when you remove it don't know how, how to find it. is it better or not most of the time they just try to wiggle it like that and uh, but when there is no movement 
the team did okay, but sometimes there are a lot of free play before engaging the spring and this means the file is gone. So there is not a lot of difference between these two. Once again, it's, it's, it's around maybe one degree more on the old one. So this is the difference between the old style and the new style flywheels. Like you can see, BMW will get new design for the new ones. The bolts are inside. I think they are the same like uh, E60 and E90 and the new generation. Uh, it's going to do the same job, uh, just different style, but still. Again, thanks for watching.